parties The pity you can Let's just say that Wasted Fridays Our friends up, man Justine, thank you so much for making time for me um, I guess a lot of people have a lot of time right now Because as we speak, a lot of us uh, I should say the whole world is dealing with the coronavirus uh, outbreak A lot of people shut down How are you doing? And what part of the country are you in right now? I am great. I'm living in Saskatchewan right now, uh, back in my hometown. It's called Hazlet, and it's a town of about 100 people, so it's pretty small, but I grew up here, and yeah, the quarantine has been definitely weird, but it's had some nice moments. Has it changed anything for you in ways like in your songwriting as you've been locked down? Because I've been talking to a lot of musicians, a lot of people in the music business, a lot of people have, of course, you know, uh, you've been doing a lot of live streaming or just writing new songs. Have you been doing that? Yeah, definitely. It's been an awesome opportunity to focus on my writing and other things that I wanted to get better at. So it's definitely been a good time to have because I've had a lot of free time to uh, work on my writing and get better at that as long with, along with things like performing and growing my social media. So it's been good. And a congratulations on the new single. Of course, that's all part of what we're going to be talking about too. Was that um, did you think maybe you want to release a song right now because of what was going on? Or was it like, yeah, let's release this because a lot of people need something to smile about? Yeah, no, it was definitely something I debated. And then after talking to one of my friends about it, they said, you know, I think that it would be a good idea to release right now because everyone is sitting at home and they're looking for new music and since no one else is doing anything, they're all uh, just, yeah, looking for new music. So hopefully that would be a way to get a little more exposure than I would normally. Well, you definitely did it for us. So thank you so much for making that decision. Um, Before we start talking about new music, I want to get into a little bit of old school and the whole uh, love of country, because it's more like country pop. Where did that all start for you? Yeah, so when I was 13 years old, I uh, entered in a competition in Saskatoon, and I ended up winning. And that's kind of where it all started, where I kind of got the little push, I guess you could say, to start this as a career. But I definitely think that I started more, uh, I guess I started in the pop country genre and uh, I would say that that's what the majority of my music is but I like to play uh, lots of country and pop covers so yeah do you remember the first song you ever wrote yes I do <laughs> what was the song called and what was it about it's- it was called Off My Mind, and it was a heartbreak song because my almost my entire first EP that I released in 2017 uh, is pretty much heartbreak songs because I found that that was the easiest thing to write about. Um, and so, yeah, but it, uh, it has come a long way from when I first wrote it, but... So definitely with your career, too, because you've been in other competitions and also big performances. Can you talk a little bit about that, please, in your account and what stood out for you the most uh, during this time leading up to the single? Yeah, so I have – I feel like competitions are not necessarily all about winning for me. It's a lot, it's a lot about uh, just getting more exposure, so it's not like I'm going into the competitions to win, but it's definitely nice when that happens, but it's really good exposure, but – Lately, uh, obviously, there's been no really performance opportunities, but of course. I've been I've been experimenting with the live stream aspect of social media, and it's super cool. And I'm hoping to do a couple more before this uh, pandemic is over. So, but before the pand- pandemic, sometimes I can even say that word. So, what would you say were the um, memorable performances for you? Um, I would say that. One of my one big one was the Global Country Canada Star Search that happens at Edmonton, and pretty much what you win there is like a trip to Nashville to work with industry professionals and then compete in an international competition. So that was my big one, and uh, there have been a couple others. I won uh, this. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but the prize was to play at the Medicine Hat Stampede. So that was really thrilling because that was probably the biggest crowd I've ever played in but those are probably those are the two biggest ones that come to mind when it comes to Canadian country um it's such a family uh it doesn't matter how huge that artist is they're always accessible um everybody seems 
each other. And I think uh, when it comes to country music, too, we've got so many great artists, and it just seems like it's going to explode. Have you been able to meet and talk to some of uh, your favorite Canadian country artists? Yeah, I went to the uh, CCMAs when they were in Saskatoon, which I believe was two or three years ago, and I got to meet a couple of my idols. Um, I have still yet to meet my biggest idol, Shania Twain, but hopefully sometime down the road I get the opportunity. I've listened to her music since I was little, and I uh, have always looked up to her, but it's definitely nice. Uh, the CCMAs was an awesome, awesome opportunity to talk to uh industry professionals and ask them questions and it was a really good learning experience do you think about when it the uh, tide is going to turn when you're in that uh in that seat and you are inspiring other artists young people uh hoping to get into this business and listening to your music and going yeah this is what i want to do that's definitely a hope and when i get messages from people that they have heard my song on the radio or that they uh, love what I'm doing, it definitely makes it like 10 times better because, you know, you're affecting other people in a good way. And it's just like really awesome to get that positive energy back from everyone. It's like, it's like I thrive on that. It's awesome. Now, the single we're talking about, this is the first release, correct? Sorry? The single we're just about to talk about, this is not your first release. No, I released my EP called Groundbreaking in 2017. That was my first release. What did that like for you to finally get music out the first time? Yeah, it was a, it was a cool experience being in the studio because that was new for me. Um, and even writing my own stuff and working with a producer. And then once it all came out, it was like, and I was getting, again, that positive feedback from everyone. It was like really cool and like something that's, different because I've never done it before and really my career up until that point had just been like performing and stuff like that so it was really cool. So what would you say musically how you've changed from 2017 to today? I would say that even though I did not write all that I would say that my songwriting has progressed and even my voice has changed because I was only what 16 in 2017 and now I'm 19 so I would say that my voice has grown a little bit, and even my uh, ability to talk on stage has been a big one for me, because when I started I was performing, that was a big, scary thing for me, talking on stage. I hated it, and I was always thought I was so bad at it, but uh, performing now, I feel way more comfortable on stage, and yeah. Well, let's get to the new single. You kind of already mentioned the name of it, but we're going to go over it again. What's the new single called, and what's it about? Uh, so it's called All Bad, and I actually did not write All Bad. I uh, My producer found it for me, and so when he sent me the list of songs, All Bad was the first one on that list, and the second I listened to it, I knew that I wanted to work with this song, but it's definitely, from recording the first time, I'd written all my music, so I'd already like, connected with it and knew what the storyline was about, but when I uh, recorded All Bad, I had to take a step back and look at the song in the perspective of the character and look in the perspective of the songwriters just so I could see the real message, so I could sing the song that they did write it. So that was definitely a really awesome learning experience for me. What attracted the song to you? Uh, again, what what is the song? So I would say that the main thing that attracted me was that when you first read the title, you think that it's going to have a negative message. And then when you listen to the lyrics and look at them more closely, you think that, oh, it's actually not. It's more like an uplifting and like lyrics that are trying to tell you that, you know, like there's someone out there for you. And But I definitely think that the catchy beat helps to... Uh, entice you into the song. Will we be able to hear that song in any live stream performance? Or are you going to be doing any more of it? I'm hoping to do one uh, soon again, but uh, I haven't don't have an exact date set. But you can find it on all social or all uh, uh, like music streaming websites and stuff like that, like iTunes and Spotify. 
Okay, where do we go to follow you and find out everything you're doing? And also, will there be an EP or album following any of this? Yeah, so you can, on my social media, on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, it's all just new flat and music. And I'm hoping I have another single lineup to release in July, so watch out for that one. And I'm hoping that eventually it will maybe turn into an EP. That's my hope. Okay, well, fingers are crossed. Well, thank you so much for making time to speak with me. Please be safe where you are. And also, as I've been saying to a lot of people, I'm crossing fingers that uh, sometime towards the end of 2020 and hopefully sometime in 2021, redo this interview, but it will be in person. Bye, let's hope. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. Take care and be safe. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.